In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Polyhaven add-on. It was originally a huge library for 3D assets and models created by different artists around the world, and it is free for everyone out there to use. The amazing thing about the Polyhaven asset add-on is that it gathers all these free assets in one giant file, and then it gets integrated directly into Blender's browser. This way, all you have to do is drag and drop these free assets directly into your scenes. Polyhaven websites contains more than a thousand assets and luckily for us, they were all brought into the add-on, which made their use inside Blender very efficient and quick, especially if you want to create large scenes in a short period of time. To install the add-on, all you have to do is to go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and choose Install. After that, choose the zip file downloaded when purchasing the add-on and click install. To configure the library path for Polyhaven, all you have to do is to go to the file paths, press the plus icon in the button and add a new library in one of your hard drives. After that, open your assets browser in the editor, go to the current file and choose the newly added Polyhaven library. Then click on fetch assets. This will allow you to download all the assets available for the add-on that consists of 3D models, materials and high dynamic range images. Of course, you can choose to download one category of these assets that are available, especially if you don't have a lot of space as the final size of all these assets is around 4 gigabytes for the moment. But as new assets are added on a weekly basis to the Polyhaven library, you can expect this size to increase every month. As mentioned before, all the downloaded assets will appear in the assets browser inside of Blender. Maybe one of the greatest benefits of using the add-on instead of the website is that all these assets, whether it be HDRIs, 3D models or textures, they come with very clear preview images which is very beneficial for the modeling and design process. On top of that, once you start Blender, you will find all the assets categorized and easy to find. For example, indoor and outdoor HDRIs are found under the HDRI panel. When you expand the models panel, you will find furniture, industrial, lighting, nature and props as subcategories. And under the textures panel, you will find brick materials, fabric, metal, plaster concrete, rock, roofing, terrain and wood materials. It is intuitive to navigate through them, which makes it easy for everyone trying this add-on for the first time. To bring assets in any scene inside Blender, all you have to do is drag and drop all the assets. If it is a material, we can put it into the object in which you want to apply different texture. If it is an object, then we just drag it right onto the surface where you want to have it in the viewport. As for SDRIs, we can simply drag it into the scene and it will automatically override the lighting in our world. As we mentioned before, the process of using the Polyhaven assets is very simple to use and can be beneficial for every 3D artist who wants to use Blender on a daily basis. Another very cool feature available with this add-on is the early access to all the assets that are available weeks before it is available on the website. We're talking about assets with very high quality that you will have access to on a weekly basis, especially if you are a beginner to the Blender community and the 3D world in general. This will be of great help to you in the learning process, whether you are aiming to create ArcVis scenes, 3D environments, video game environments, or animation environments in a short period of time. The assets that Polyhaven offers are of high quality and they will definitely fit to your scene. Also, buying the add-on helps finance the amazing people behind the free Polyhaven assets and their dedication to help the Blender community. If you are interested in Polyhaven, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.